My name is Haley, and this is Clean of Champagne, your solo girl's guide to travel. We started our morning in a beautiful little Airbnb so right in the center of the city. I don't want to be an infant. That's not my business. We got there the night before and made good use of the rooftop terrace. But then the morning came and there was wine to be tasted. And of course that can't be done on an empty stomach. So we stopped by this patisserie for a little petit déjeuner. We took an Uber to the Bordeaux train station where we picked up our sixth rental car. If you don't want to deal with a rental car, you have a few options. You could take a 35 minute train that will cost you about 20 euros round trip. But just so you know, St. Emilion train station is about a two mile walk from the center of the town. I think the easier option would be to book a tour of St. Emilion. It will include your transportation and one, if not more, wine tastings. But I personally think your best option is the rental car. It was a relatively easy drive, just a highway in a country road. And this road is lined with the most amazing chateaus you've ever seen in your whole entire life. And because you're on your own schedule, if you want to pull off to the side of the road to get a closer look, you can. But so you know, almost all of these chateaus are by appointment only, so don't expect to just walk in and taste wine. After about 45 minutes, we arrived in St. Emilion. Our first stop was the tourism office. I always recommend in small French towns to head there first. They've got the insider's information, and if nothing else, a free map. They suggested a wine tasting at Maison Gallaud. There, we tasted three different wines. Then we headed to Le Cordelier for lunch. This 14th century convent, now considered a UNESCO World Heritage Site, has been producing sparkling wines since 1892. And if you have a beautiful day like we did, Head out to their terrace for a table service lunch. Or you can buy one of their picnic baskets to enjoy on their grounds. And after that, we explored this beautiful village. And might I say, it is probably one of the most Instagrammable places I've ever been. We headed back to Bordeaux City Center for dinner. We were recommended Restaurant Lulu by a local. It did not disappoint, but be sure to make a reservation. If you're looking for more Bordeaux videos, make sure you subscribe. And you can find links to all of these places on my website at plaindechampagne.com. Thank you so much for watching. Cheers.